Inventory management is nothing new. It has always meant knowing what stock you have and making sure it's used wisely. Think about how supermarkets manage shelves. They know exactly how much stock is coming in, how much is sold, and when to reorder. IT works the same way, but instead of milk and bread, the stock is laptops, servers, and software licenses. So what exactly is IT inventory management? Let's break it down. IT inventory management is part of IT asset management. It is the process of tracking, cataloging, and controlling an organization's IT assets, including hardware, software and licenses, and even cloud resources. The goal of IT inventory management is simple. Know exactly what you have. How many laptops, licenses, and devices are in your inventory. Know where each asset is, whether it's in use, in storage, or awaiting assignment. Know how each asset is being used, if it's actively supporting your business or sitting idle. By keeping track of these, you can avoid overpurchasing, prevent overspending, and make sure you're always using your resources efficiently. IT Inventory Management Process So, now that you know what IT Inventory Management is, you might be wondering, how do you actually keep track of all your IT inventory? Most companies use IT Inventory Management Software, or ITAM software, to manage their IT inventory. These tools make it much easier to track hardware, software, and cloud resources across the organization. Here's how you can do it. Step one, asset discovery and initial inventory. First things first, you need to discover all your assets. Let's say your company has thousands of devices and software applications scattered across multiple departments. Automated ITAM tools like Asset Loom can scan your network, cloud environments, and endpoints to automatically detect assets like desktops, mobile phones, servers, and software applications. For example, a network scan might show that there are 500 active devices, along with 1,200 software licenses actively in use and 100 virtual machines running in the cloud. This gives you a real-time picture of your IT inventory without manually checking each device. For assets that aren't connected to the network, like old printers or unused devices in storage, you perform manual audits to track those down. Step two, centralized inventory management. After discovery, all assets should be organized in a centralized system. Then ITAM software stores everything in one place, giving you a single source of truth for your IT inventories. The system updates automatically whenever assets are deployed, returned, or moved, so your inventory is always accurate. It integrates with HR and procurement systems. When new laptops arrive from procurement, they are automatically logged into the system and are ready to be assigned to employees. There's no need for someone to manually check stock levels or inventory. Everything is handled automatically. Step three, stock replenishment and reordering. The next step is making sure you never run out of critical IT assets. Part of this is setting reorder points to know when it's time to restock devices, software, or licenses. For example, if your stock of laptops drops below 100 units, you can set an automatic reorder to purchase another 200 laptops. This ensures you have enough stock for new hires and projects don't get delayed due to a shortage. Another important part is visibility. When an employee requests a laptop, the request portal will display how many laptops are available in storage, how many are in use, and how many are assigned to other projects. This allows the requester to know exactly what is available before they make the request. Step four, maintenance and lifecycle management. Step four is about maintaining your IT assets and managing their life cycle. Asset Loom helps you monitor warranties, updates, and support timelines, and flags devices that are nearing the end of their life. For hardware like laptops, desktops, or servers, this could mean regular updates, patches, or preventive maintenance, such as checking batteries or running system diagnostics. For software and licenses, it means monitoring expiration dates, applying updates, and planning renewals. Step five. Auditing and reconciliation. Even with careful tracking, discrepancies can happen. Regular audits make sure your records match what's actually in your inventory. Reconciliation is about comparing your records with reality. For example, if your system shows 5,000 laptops but only 4,950 are accounted for, you can investigate and correct the difference. 
This helps detect missing devices, inactive licenses, or shadow IT, and ensures compliance with policies and regulations. Step six, optimization and reporting. Finally, analyze usage and optimize your inventory. Optimization means analyzing how your assets are being used. Are some laptops sitting idle? Are software licenses underutilized? Reassigning or reclaiming these assets helps you save money and get the most out of your resources. Reporting gives you a clear picture of your inventory. You can also use reports to forecast future needs, plan budgets, and prepare for audits. Dashboards can show real-time stock levels, upcoming expirations, and which assets need maintenance or replacement. All these steps might sound abstract, so let's see them in action. Imagine a global tech firm with 10,000 employees managing 15,000 laptops, 20,000 software licenses, and 500 cloud instances. Discovery. Scans reveal 14,800 laptops, 18,000 active licenses, and 50 unused cloud instances, giving a clear picture of available assets. Tracking. A software tracks quantities and stock. 1,000 unassigned laptops and 2,000 unused licenses. QR code, barcode, or RFID tags monitor laptops in storage. Replenishment. Reorder points are set. When the laptop stock drops to 400, 200 are ordered. Software license renewals are planned automatically. Maintenance. 200 laptops are flagged for warranty renewal in the next 30 days, and 500 software patches are rolled out automatically. Auditing. Quarterly scans find 50 untracked devices. Shadow IT. Reconciliation updates stock and recovers $100,000 in unused licenses. Optimization. ABC analysis prioritizes servers for maintenance and reallocates 500 licenses to new projects. The result? Complete visibility reduces procurement delays by 50%, saves $500,000 annually, and ensures compliance during audits. This is IT inventory management in action. So, what's IT inventory management? IT inventory management is the process of tracking, cataloging, and controlling an organization's IT assets. Its purpose is to maintain optimal stock levels, minimize costs, prevent equipment obsolescence and security risks, and improve operational efficiency by providing accurate data on IT assets. And that's the overview. Thanks for watching and see you next time.